you would not believe how many tech problems I have had. I've been trying to make this video for like two weeks now. First, it was my camera was being doofy and the file wasn't transferring properly and then the audio file was just bad and tinny and unusable and then Audacity started like not recording properly or stopping recording in the middle of filming so I have no idea what I did to piss off the tech gods but tell me what I need to do to repent! So. Hopefully, 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 this will be the last attempt on trying to make this video. So, I have not been idle while I have been wrestling with my tech issues. I've still been working on the book, which has been super fun. I have been working on the zines. Uh, I have some ideas for the other zines that I want to make as well. I have uh, one idea for a lemonade recipe book because uh, around March, summer is going to be right around the corner and I love lemonade and I like variations on lemonade and I wanted to share some of my favorite recipes as well as some really cute lemon themed illustrations. I don't know, might do like cute lemon fairies or a lemon dragon or um, just, I don't know, maybe anthropomorphized lemons. They're just like, I'm a lemon and I'm cute. I have another, uh, another video that is inspired by one of my particular cats uh, called Things My Cat Has Licked. Yeah, so I uh, came home one day and there was Tribble uh, there to greet me at the door in the kitchen and just kind of like runs around a little bit and is like, oh, mom, you're home, mom, feed me. And then he just starts licking the stove. I, I don't know. I don't know why. Like, I didn't. We didn't spill anything on there. There was no food there that's nowhere near where his food is kept. I don't know why he was licking the stove, but he was. He, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We do feed him, I promise. He just likes licking stuff, I guess. Something else that I wanted to share with you is I have been making some awesome progress with my illustrations for the Useless Magical Items zine based off of D&D but not officially licensed by Wizards of the Coast, so I am going to avoid all Dungeons and Dragons references in that zine because I don't want a lawsuit. <laughs> I mean, not that I think they'd really pay attention to me. I'm just kind of a small-time human, but... You never know. So yeah, here's a couple of the things that I've been working on. So I've had a lot of fun working on those. It's been fun coming up with neat ideas for weird magical items and uh, and things like that. Let's see what else. What else have I been up to? In order to hopefully solve some of my audio problems, I've been looking into lavalier mics. So if you have any suggestions for a quality lavalier mic that is under a hundred dollars, preferably less than like seventy dollars, maybe I don't know. I don't have much money, uh, that would be fantastic. <laughs> or at least just your opinions, your experiences on lavalier mics. I think it would give me a little bit better quality of audio. Uh, I love, don't get me wrong, I love my little snowball. Um, but, yeah. So I do believe that is all that I have for you today. Just a quick little update to let you know that I'm not dead, that my Technology is conspiring against me. I have been trying, I promise. Thank you so much for coming back to visit me in my, my YouTube place. Glad to have you here. Uh, did I even say hello when I started? I don't think I did. Hello, how are you? Tell me about your day. What is new? I hope that you've been having a lovely couple of weeks. But hey, learning, growing, getting better. That's what's important. Finger guns. It's not a thing I'm gonna keep doing. All right, have a lovely day. Bye, friends. Hey, Trippy. Hi. Are you helping me? Are you helping me with laundry? This is not terribly helpful, but at least you're cute.